Greetings all, Banny here for Virgo's Daily Oracle Message. Virgo, I hope you guys are having a good day. First cards that came out for you are the Temple and the Triple Star Grid. Home. I no longer search outside of myself for home and align. I connect and align with my higher consciousness. That is some powerful manifestation energy there, Virgo. So to be your own temple, to not look outside of yourself for home, is meaning that I do not look outside of myself for validation. I do not seek other people's words to know my value, to know my worth. I gain all of that from myself. I gain all love from myself. This doesn't mean that you don't need people. It simply means you're not reliant upon them to feel good in yourself. And that is very powerful, grounded energy that helps you so much when you align because you have so much trust and so much faith in yourself, in your dreams, and in your power. So when you do go to align, when you work through your chakras to run the points up through the crown to connect to your higher self, it happens so much easier because the energy doesn't have blockages to work through. You are on a solid foundation and you can hear what they have to say. And they have things to say, Virgo. Of course they do. Your higher self and your spirit team are always there to talk to you, to guide you. You have the priestess, Embody. I am the embodiment of the divine feminine. You being Virgo, the virgin, the maiden. I'm not surprised it's coming out. Even if you are a male Virgo, you have divine feminine. Divine feminine energy is receptive energy, is healing, nurturing, caring energy. The one that is the so soft hand on your cheek telling you, you will be all right again, my love. That is divine feminine energy, the energy of creation and receptivity. You also have the diamond star, destiny. I focus on service and follow my higher purpose. And you have a very powerful higher purpose, Virgo. I absolutely love feeling your energy right now. And ooh, once you connect, once you make... Yeah, once you make that connection with your crown chakra to the ancestral realms, there is not going to be anything stopping you. Yeah, you have Choose Joy that came out here. Choose Joy. Focus on happiness. Focus on what you love. You have your female ancestors coming through here with the butterfly. You have this adorable little star. I hardly see this little guy come out. But maybe that's because you are such a unique star. You are, yep, there goes my ear. You are such a unique star. You are such a unique person. You are once in a lifetime kind of relationship, kind of experience. Because you have and are unconditional love embodied. Literally, infinite love right there. I'm going to place that on the priestess card. You have the bear here, and this bear has been damaged, this bear has been hurt, but this still is a protective energy. This one can be oppressive, this one can be protective. This time I feel protective. You have the roulette of the life, and that is going along with the enjoy the journey card here. Enjoy what life gives you because you don't always have to have the answer. You don't always have to have the key, the rubric, the the guidebook to go along with it to enjoy life. As a matter of fact, you enjoy life more often when you're just going along with it, when you just allow it to be. Because when you do have that sense of home and temple in yourself, you know that everything else that comes to you is there because you are at such a beautiful energy. You have Father of the Sky, God. I release the weight of the world from my shoulders. It's not your job to carry everything, Atlas. You don't have to carry that burden. We have Equipus, the seer, visionary. I chart the stars, signs, and symbols to craft magic. Astrology might be something you want to get into, Virgo. You have the huntress, quest. The Pileids light my quest to be wild and free. That is beautiful. And you have a lot of star energy father of the sky diamond star triple star grid the priestess the seer you have powerful ass people that are watching over you that are guiding you that are trying to lift you up to the point where you can hear what they have to say maybe you will be a medium maybe you will be a conduit like myself someone to share their message someone to be their vessel to be their voice and if you feel called to this virgo Make sure you are constantly checking in with yourself, taking care of yourself. Have I drunk enough water today? 
What have I eaten today? Do I need to get more sleep? Do I need to go take a walk? Do I need to ground myself? Taking care of yourself is such an important part of being a light warrior. It's so that your body and your vessel and your spirit are all running at full capacities at all times. That's not easy to do, especially in the hustle and bustle culture of our world. But you have to value you. You have to honor you. And when you do that, it becomes so much easier for you to do everything that you... Because you have a fucking mission here, Virgo. And it is as unique and as beautiful as you are. So I want you to keep focusing on your passions, your heart, what drives you, what makes you happy, simply because it makes you happy. When you are doing your meditations, try to see... The energy from your chakras connecting to the heavens, the divine purple rod going to the heavens and connecting with it. You could try different visualizations. You could try different forms of manifestations. Find what works for you, my love, because not everything will work for everyone. And that's the wonderful thing about free will is exploring and finding out what does and does not work for you. So I want you to explore and see the world. Share with it your light as it shares with you its own. Because there's something beautiful about you, Virgo. Have a beautiful day.